Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. We are headed all the way down to Pastoria City. I don't know why I'm walking in the grass, because I hate doing that. But I want to be careful. Ooh. It's the Dork Twins. Got them. So we're not going to the lake, but uh, the lake needs some protection. Lakes are cool. You know what else is cool? Like in this video, maybe comment in if you want to. Subscribing is extra good. Tell your friends, tell your families, your loved ones, everybody you know. Be my plays. Loves your support. Thank you, everybody. She dropped her sweet key. That's not very sweet. But that's okay. We'll help her eventually. I'd like to go east, but I don't think that's going to be a possibility. Apparently, Sunny Shore City has a blackout. And we are not allowed to attend any of their festivities. Well, poo-poo on that. Guess we're not doing that, everybody. But instead, we'll check out some fine dining. The Seven Stars restaurant. I wonder if we can fight these people. I love fighting people while they're eating. Huh. So it appears to be. Let's go ahead and check out the team. Ooh, we are in not great shape. I think I did some swip swapping last time to get the newbies an experience opportunity. So that's very good. Oh, I want, nope, excuse me. Let's cure some poisons. And let's do a little bit of healing. We got plenty of healing on it. Nope, stop it, quit. I'm fat fingering everything. Just wanna use these potions before I do all these crazy hacking battles. Everybody's almost up to level 30, which is very good. Steven is level 30. The one outlier of our group. So let's go ahead and start over here and see this man with a mullet. Or maybe it's a woman. I don't know. Oh yeah, let's do it. I don't know if this is a thing that you can do every so often. Oh, oh it's like, oh. This is an every so often battle thing where you can come back and bonk these people on the head over time or what? But... We're gonna do it to it right now. They're gonna sit down for a nice relaxing meal and we are just gonna give them the, the one, two. Any favorite restaurants, everybody? What's kind of your soup du jour? You like maybe a nice fast casual? A good sit down? Nice meal with family, perhaps? Where you can terrorize a waitstaff? As always, don't forget to tip your waiters and waitresses, everybody. It's a tough go out there, but they're doing their best. Even if you get takeout, toss a couple bucks their way, I'm sure they appreciate it. It's the system, I, I promise. But anyway, hopefully you guys are all doing well and having fun. I know this part of the game is a little haphazard with the big parts of the story. It kind of slows down here in the kind of the first third, but I'm gonna try to make the best of it. I'm not gonna wind up yawning can never get tired of playing Pokemon on the D-Mike Plays channel. Hopefully you guys aren't getting tired of these series either. I'm actually really enjoying how things are shaping up, especially with the Super Nintendo Sundays and especially with the new Donkey Kong series. Hopefully you guys are all enjoying that. That's a lot of fun. It's definitely a brand new look on one of my favorite childhood series in the Donkey Kong Country franchise. No shortage of making me very angry, though. It's one of those games that you just gotta play a lot and get good at. You just gotta get good. That's what it's all about. It definitely takes some muscle memory to improve at that one. And there's Bart always sleeping on the job. Don't have time for that, man. Come on. It's dozing off. It must be sleepy. So let's go ahead and get out of there. Let's throw in Scarlet. She's got some dark moves, and we'll use... I don't know if Bronzor has Levitate. We'll find out. But man, do we not look super fresh in that scarf? That Platinum style is as it says on the box. Okay, so that was stupid. This shouldn't do too much. Bronzor's heavy. I mean, I don't know exactly what it is as a creature. You know, apparently it's living, sort of. But it weighs like 200 pounds. I don't know what that is in kilograms for uh, those of you in the metric world, but it's a lot. 
And the whole point of Gyro Ball is that you're supposed to use it on Pokemon that are heavier than you. So there's like a handful that would really make sense. That would be weak to steel and also heavier than a Bronzor. And don't even get me started when Bronzor evolves, because then at that point it's basically out of the question. That guy's not wearing an undershirt. Oh, that was her dad? Oh, whoops. That's kind of weird. Get your, your buns paddled in front of your dad. You don't want that. Ooh, looks like a little nepotism here. Yes. So apparently these are all double battles. Was not expecting to have this episode be more battles. But we got some aristocrats here who need to be taken down a peg. No trouble doing that. This is actually a really good matchup for me. I don't know what it means when your Pokemon shake like that. Is that good? Is that what that's supposed to be like? Also, I would love to have Bart learn something that's better than Absorb. Can a brother get a Mega Drain or a Giga Drain here in the near future? I just ain't got time for it. It's just so weak. It's a great move. I mean, I love being able to heal back up and fight longer. Ooh, was not ready for that. Did not know that Sid Widow had a move as such. That's not cool. We'll bring in Buster. Remember, though, with the experience all. Ooh, oh, come on, game. Stop reading my mind. With the experience all, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you heal up and give your Pokemon the chance to be revived, because if you do not, then you will run into the problem that they won't get experience. So the experience all only applies if that Pokemon is active with at least one HP. Man, Sudowoodo has a ton of special defense. This is not boding well for our heroes here. Oh, come on. This is complete buns. This is horrible. Oh, no. Weasel is not known for being very hardy, unfortunately. That is pretty uncool. But Sudowoodo has essentially doomed itself. Let's bring Samuel back in for the... For the original experience that we were trying to get. Samuel evolving would be really nice because it does develop a ground subtype. So it would be immune to any of this Pichu and its thunderous ways. Yeah, I just feel bad. That's a bunch of experience the Buster's not going to get. Oh, <laughs> speak of the devil, everybody. Look at that. The game was like, all right, quit your complaining. Actually, let's check out Giga Drain for a moment. It is a 75 base power nutrient draining attack. The user's HP is restored by half the damage, which is much better than 20. So this actually makes Bart pretty competitive. Would be nice to learn Leech Seed, but I don't know if that's something that Bart does learn, which is unfortunate. Leech Seed and Toxic is one of my favorite combos. It's kind of cheap, but it does what it's supposed to on the 10. Oh, so Samuel is able to withstand such a move. That's very good. So I think that this attack might kill that Pichu. I don't know if I... I don't want to burn a Revival Herb on Buster because it's kind of a, a nice item, but I also want the experience to be shared by all. This is one time where I do want the experience. Oh, that's much better. Doesn't that feel better, everybody? Doesn't... Do you feel like you're... Like you're more healthy now? Like you've absorbed more nutrients? I do really like that suit though. White suit, pink tie. That's what you get. You gotta pave your own way. Don't rely on your parents. You rich jerks. Oh my gosh, there's so many fights. Okay. We'll do all these and then we'll actually make some progress. I promise. So I'm assuming this is her dad or not. Maybe just a foodie. Some old people. These look like young people cosplaying as old people. Ooh, this is interesting. So there's a Lopany or Lopany, however you say that. It's a, uh... It is definitely a Pokemon that is influenced by a little rule of 34s. But we're actually going to switch out to... Let's get Craig in there. Do some damage. 
It is the evolution of Boneri, which we do have one that's Bonnie. She's probably not gonna see much time outside the old PC. That's just because not the best Pokemon, not really a huge fan of of said Mon. Apologies for those of you who wanted to see a low punny on the team. Probably not going to happen. Can't risk it. So there we go. Everyone's almost caught up. This is very nice. Looks like he's a fan of the early game bird Pokemon. I'm going to need to see a Starly out here before too long. Not cool. But yeah, Lopunny used Miracle, which is an interesting move. I believe that's an attack that, when used, it bounces the move back at, a, at whatever trainer used it first. So it's kind of like a reflect. I don't know if that's 100% true. If it's wrong, then I'm just a big old dumb. Feel free to correct me. Here at DMIC Industries, we pride ourselves on everything being a teachable moment. So hopefully we can power through these last few battles. Ooh, that's annoying. Is that a tract? Yes. So Lopunny's ability causes a tract, which means that you'll be fallen in love. Which is fine, because they're also Pokemon. Now when people fall in love with Pokemon, yeah, things get a little weird. But anyway, we're going to try to power through these make our way to Pastoria City. There's just a lot to do in between here and there, which is a little bit of a bummer. It is just part of the game. And you can't really avoid it. But it is a good source of experience, especially if you have some Pokemon that are falling behind a little bit. Ack. Ack, 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 ack. And you get a lot of, a lot of gold. Actually, probably should have been putting the amulet coin on some of my Pokemon. But another foreshadowing, which I did not do on purpose. First Giga Train, now the evolution of Zamuel. We are now graced with the ever beautiful and not incredibly weird looking horned Gastrodon. Let's read about Gastrodon, the sea slug Pokemon. It has a pliable body without any bones. If any part of its body is torn off, it grows right back. Pretty cool. That's right, you stay stiff. Anyway, let's go back into our boxes real quick and see if any Pokemon are going to be falling behind. Doesn't really appear to be a huge issue. I think we'll... No, we'll stay, we'll stay as is for fighting in this weird restaurant. So this guy does what I do. I'm trying to take him down a peg and show him who the true filmmaker is. I just like that they gave him earbuds instead of like an actual headset. It's very modern. So Samuel's actually a pretty decent choice for this fight in general. Not so much with Bart. So we're gonna swap Bart out for Steven. And we will slap this Luxio with so much mud. We're gonna cover it in our floppy, pliable, grows back goo. Get a first look at Steven, the Luxray. Probably one of the cooler sprites for a Pokemon. I'm a big fan of it. And we'll see how Steven does. We're gonna be using Steven quite a bit coming up. So hopefully it can do some heckin' great damage. Trying to give Samuel the Chomp, not a problem. I did... I don't think I bought... I don't know if I bought a, um, a Thunderbolt TM. If I did, I'm gonna want to definitely give it to Steven for the upcoming shenanigans we're gonna be dealing with. It'll definitely be helpful, as if I haven't talked about it enough. Hopefully there's... People watching this video going like, come on, we know. I'm just trying to help you guys out. I don't want to assume you're further ahead than me. Maybe you're not. 
I think it's interesting that all the other Pokemon in general just kind of have their generic cries, but Pikachu says Pikachu. I believe it's the only Pokemon that actually says its name. Oh, Steven, look at that. You get a nice little pet on the razor sharp fur on your face. Good job, bud. That's four out of five. Hopefully we give them something to take home with them on that camera. And last but not least, these two people. I keep saying I should put the amulet coin on, but I'm not going to because I'm going to forget. Although I could do it now, but it's too late. I don't really need a ton of money. I'm fine how I am. I'm a modest man. So here we go. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. It's actually nice having Samuel around. That ground subtype is pretty dang useful. And we're going to take advantage of it. I don't really have a ton that's good against Kadabra. I mean, I do have some dark moves, but switching out takes effort. I have none of that. Ooh, this might hurt. Yeesh. We don't like that. I actually really wish I had an urge to use Stunky. I think Stunky is a really cool Pokemon, and I think Skuntank is great. Seems like it can learn quite a, a good pool of moves with some good diversity. And you know how much we pride ourselves on diversity at DMAC Play. Let's get some new blood in here, and Samuel's going to have a nice glass of Mulk. If I could find out where it is. Where is Mulk? There it is, great. You should always feel free to stop by Cabin Cafe, Cafe Cabin, whatever it is, and get yourself some milk, the Moomoo Milk. It's very good, heals 100 HP, and I don't know if there's a better healing item per Poke Dollar. So, ooh, I totally forgot. That was not the smartest move I could have made. That's okay. But Samuel's very hardy. So that looks like... What is happening? No, stop. We'll get Craig out there just to finish it up. I'm so sorry, Scarlet. I made a goo. That's okay. Craig does have a dark move. And we still have... Samuel leading the way. Okay, as long as we don't get knocked out. That's my, my fear here. We're just almost 20 minutes in, and I'm still dealing with more battles, which is not what I intended, but I guess you can't really... I mean, you could avoid this, but I'm trying to show everything. I care about you guys. You need the full, brilliant diamond experience. You wouldn't get anything less at DMIC Industries. All kinds of level ups. In this episode, though, you're seeing some pretty neat stuff, right? Okay, so Craig is a horrible choice. Let's bring Bart back. Bert. And we'll just leave Samuel in for the time being. Would have liked to have had more Scarlet in this episode, but I'm a Ding Dong who does not know what types are. I actually thought it was going to be fine, but I was very wrong. And Weasel's a cool Pokemon. Looks like an Otter. I think Otters are great. The only downside, though, is they're very fragile. So it's a good Pokemon for speed and attacking. It's a bit of a glass cannon though, it's the only downside. Because the upside, it's cute. And who doesn't love cute Pokemon? Use your favorites, everybody. Maybe it doesn't have the best stats, the best abilities, the best moves, but it's cute. So Samuel's actually had a big upgrade and all these stats looking pretty good. Gastrodon's not the best Pokemon, but we'll take it. I almost said something really stupid. I was looking at her outfit with her apron and her hat, and I almost said, wow, she has green eyes. That's not normal, and I was like, wait, yes it is. But speak of the devil, two evolutions and a cool move in the same episode? What? You guys are so lucky. Buster has evolved! Into Floatzel! It's even cuter! Look at that! 
Oh, look at him. Look at him. Floatzel's the sea weasel. Sleepy weasel. Floats using its well-developed flotation sack. It assists in the rescues of drowning people. So not only is it helpful, but it's cute and helpful. What a better combo. Can you find than that? You can't. It just doesn't exist. Okay. So that lady apparently really hates working. Can't blame her. What is going on in this house? It's the Gengar loving director. Okay, I'm assuming this is probably a place we'll have to come back to. Of course. So I do believe that these are the guys you want to visit when you fill up your national decks. They will give you a neat prize. There's some houses in here we can't even get to. They're blocked off. This guy looks like he's maybe a little sick. He's sitting by a trash can. Mount Moon in the Kanto region. Of course we do. Great. So this house is a nothing burger. That's great. And if we head into this place from the back side. Okay. Wasn't expecting this to be a free heal, but it is. We'll take it. Thank you, sir. Ossifer. Okay. There's a free item here. A red shard. Red shard. And you, what are you up to? Okay. Would have liked to have put him in his place with a good old battle. Instead, we will fight these children. So, at the very least, we do get to fight children. So, there's that benefit. Tuber Chelsea with the of all form of Bidoof, I think Bibarel, Bibarel, however you say it. It looks weird on all fours because it's original sprite from Diamond and Pearl, the OG Diamond and Pearl. It was on its hind legs and it just looks, it's like staring into your soul. It's very weird. I don't like it, but it's fine. She got whooped. And it kind of lost its place in the meme culture of this game. Bidoof was the classic HM slave, and now it's not anymore because you have free HMs. So you don't really need it. And before this little guy can get away, we're going to pop his inner tube in his dreams. We're going to crush him under our boot. He's got a shell -os. That's what Samuel used to be. Here's the other variant. I think this one actually looks cuter. Enjoy its weird little... Is it arms? Wings? I don't... I don't 100% know. What are we dealing with here? The Ted kind of looks like ice cream? But all these Pokemon are... You know, as, as you're seeing... They're getting to be between 8 to 10 levels... Under what my team is right now. Which isn't great... Oh my gosh, stop. Which isn't great, because... I'm not getting a lot of experience, which is fine, because I don't want that. But also, things are just so weak, and you can't come here any sooner than what I've done. You know, I'm coming here at the earliest opportunity based on the, you know, the, the narrative of the game, I guess you could say. Also, I'm being a bit of a gambler here, using a rock type against a water type, but I would really enjoy having Craig level up, because Craig is awesome. I need to get him some better moves. So hopefully that'll happen soon. I would like Craig to assume his final form. But it might take a bit because all of these Pokemon that we're running into are just so weak. The experience all does help, of course, but what can you do? That Shellos must be a little bit weaker than the last one. He's got both variants, pink and the blue ones. So that's fun. I think this is around the part of the map when you can start to See the different ones, that's fun. Okay, so that was a thing, I guess. Might as well heal up again before we head back on our way as I run into the counter. I'm not entirely sure how that's possible. They're all booked up, but I can rest in this place. I don't, I don't quite understand it. This makes me feel like there might be something hidden. No. I'm not very good at finding things, okay. 
But I did see there's an item here. We can get our PP up. We love that. Make sure your PP is nice and strong. Oh, I didn't even see this. There's a person in the pool. So apparently that's a, a threat. I don't know where on earth I'm supposed to be going. Is there a backside to this restaurant? How the H do I get back there? I'm gonna dip in here real quick and see if there's a... Nope. I have no idea how to get that item. I'll come back for it later. I just want to check the map because I it told me that Sunny Shore was... Nope, not the bike. Oh my gosh, I'm just hitting everything wrong. Ooh, here we go. It says it wants me to go south more, but I didn't... Can I? Is there a way to go... Which way did he go? He went west. Is there a path? Ooh, look at this little sneaky snake, huh? This is fun. Let's actually switch out and let's get Scarlet a little bit of time. And we'll walk with Scarlet because Scarlet's cute. Yeah, our little scorpion. You know, you're not wrong. Too entitled to fight me one on one. Yeah, this is an interesting little subsection. You'll be coming back here later. As the one guy showed us, he's blocking the way to the eventual Sunny Shore City, which we will be eventually visiting in the eventual part of the event. So, that's very good. It does appear, though, that. Scarlet is part poison type, which I forgot. I think that type falls off upon evolution. But not yet. And I goofed. So, whoops. But it's good because we get stab. I think we're a poison bug right now. Which is nice. Oh, crap. In what universe is a Remoraid supposed to have a side beam? Huh? I don't know. But fun fact about Remoraid... Uh, Remoraid and its Evolution Octillery. These are Pokemon that were introduced in Gold and Silver. And the original sprites of Remoraid and Octillery were a little dicey. What do I mean by that? Well, it turns out that the original sprites from Gold and Silver in the beta version, some fun facts for you. Hopefully you guys love these fun facts. Because I'm a bit of a... Remoraid was the was in the shape of a pistol and Octillery was a tank. So that's pretty cool. Can't imagine why they would take that out of a children's game, but you know, it is what it is. We live and we learn. So here's Gyarados, one of my favorite Pokemon. I've always really enjoyed Gyarados since the OG days. Always thought it'd be cool if it was a dragon type, but it's just water and flying still. But I always remember it gave you a ton of experience. You wind up with a dopey Magikarp, who then turns into an awesome Gyarados. We love that. We're disrespecting grown-ups and children. This, there's no ageism here. We disrespect everybody, so grow up, Kenneth. But let's take a quick pop into Dr. Footstep's house? That sounds creepy. Okay. So this is, I'm assuming, another happiness check. Oh, don't talk about Scarlet like that. Seems like Scarlet is still feeling a little forgotten, new to the team. Okay, maybe Scarlet tooted, who knows? And we've got a couple more fights, it appears, to wrap up this part of the game. I promise we're not too far from Pastoria. Some pretty neat stuff that happens there, but for now... There's a lot of people hanging out at the beach at night, so we gotta give them the what for. The beach is ours. We'll show them how much of a beach they're being. These are definitely... They're definitely battles. They're definitely happening. These are at least are a little bit higher level, which is nice, so we're getting closer to our level. So it doesn't feel quite like we're we're whooping on super low level Pokemon that aren't going to give us any experience. 
that'd be unfortunate. But it's all base level Pokemon. We're not quite at the point in the game when the evolutionary shift happens. That's probably more around the 4 or 5 gym badge area. That's kind of where I'd say that happens. What is this? Ooh. So you've already seen these indentations a little bit. That's actually a future HM that we'll get, but for now we don't have it. So we're just going to ignore it. Instead, with the help of our trusty random Bidoof, there's a honey tree. I don't know if that's all that's back here. Great. Not a waste of time. If you're into honey trees, there you go. You need some honey. Oh, I need some honey. That was a really horrible Winnie the Pooh impression. Please don't sue me, Disney. I actually almost said, I want a picnic basket, but that's Yogi the Bear. So clearly I don't know my cartoons. Please don't sue me, Hanna Bear. Or whoever owns the rights to that now. We're gonna grab some berries. I think that we're actually right outside Pastoria City, which is nice. I could be wrong. I'm gonna check this sign. Signs are great. Hopefully I'm not wrong. Let's give a little peek. What does this say? Oh yeah. Who's the best Let's Player in this video? What do you have to say for yourself? Great. Wait, is that... Wait, do our Pokemon leave prints in the sand too? I have to go back and do this. Hurry, Scarlet, please. Oh, <laughs> Scarlet. She... Um, excuse you, it's just us. What a lie. I should have gotten Dimitri out and had it follow me and then been upset that I wasn't leaving footprints. Anyway. Welcome to Pastoria City, everybody. We did it. But we'll explore it next time. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, and I'll see you next time. Bye.